is yours as the kingdom. We can learn prayers and phrases and things to throw out to God and say. But if we don't really understand why we're praying them or how there's perspective in our lives, we can miss something. If we forget the God who we're praying to and just pray our prayers like, Lord, I pray for this and I pray for that, and God, I pray this and I pray that, and we forget that we're praying to God, sometimes we'll, you know, I'll, uh, we'll be eating a meal and I'll say to one of my kids, hey, why don't you pray for the meal today? And they'll go, oh, Lord, we pray for it. And I go, wait, 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 wait. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? God. You talk to God that way? Oh, I'm sorry, man. Just stop and put, put yourself in a place that you're talking to God right now. Okay. God. I pray. <laughs> I don't want to say, hurry up and talk to God. <laughs> But we have to remember that we're talking to God. This last part puts things into perspective. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. It's important that we have perspective in our lives. You know, sometimes we think about that. Where do I fit, Lord? You know, sometimes we can just get in our own little world. Do wake up on Monday morning, go to work, come home in the afternoon, do what we do. Go to Tuesday, go to Wednesday, go to Thursday, go to Friday, go to Saturday. We have our same regimen, our same things. We come to church on Sunday. And we just have our same thing. And we forget that there's a big perspective. There's a big world out there. I remember the first time I looked at Google Maps. You ever uh, seen that where you put your where your house is on Google Maps and then you back off from it? And then you back off from it more and then you go all the way to space? Have you ever seen something like that? You guys ever seen that in Nigeria? <laughs>